Shalom family. John, the book of John, one of my favorite books. If you ever want to start memorizing something, start with John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made that was made. In Him was life, and life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. The light is from Jesus. He is the light. He brings that light. He is God. And this whole first passage in John clearly defines all those things. Now the exciting thing here is that you might not know. A lot of brothers and sisters do know. But I'd like to touch on it. Because it is an encouraging and exciting thing to share. In 2016, researchers at Northwestern University in Chicago were able to capture... The miraculous moment that a sperm fertilized an egg at the microscopic level. For the first time ever, scientists captured images of the flash of light that sparked at the very moment that they made contact. The phenomenon had been observed before in animals, but no one's ever seen the spark of human conception before that. The moment life began. Which puts to bed the whole abortionist tale of when does life really start or when is something really alive. When the light sparks. The minute that contact's made, go watch the videos on YouTube, look for them. You'll see the videos of these little sparks. The minute they touch and that spark of light is there and life begins. And they carry on in the article saying when there is almost no spark then it's a weak egg and something doesn't happen and it doesn't work. But when there's that spark of life it begins. Jesus, the light of the world, that we don't have to walk in darkness. That same very light is the reason we move and have our being and are alive. He knit us together in our mother's wombs. He knows us by name and he knows exactly how many hairs are on our heads. So there's nothing more amazing than that. I've watched those little clips over and over again and watching that spark of light just blossom when contact is made. And I'm thinking to myself, all things were made through him and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not comprehend it. He is the light that is there. That began with us and that carries us to the end of the race. He is the light that keeps shining as we fill our lamps with the Holy Spirit's oil. He is the light we take to the nations. And he is the light that shines in the darkest time of human history. As we wait to be reunited with him. Finally, after 2000 plus years. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.